Welcome po sa Nelbors Vlog. So today's video, pag-uusapan natin paano ba yung paggawa ng voiceover. Bakit ba kailangan nating mag-voiceover? Well, different reason. Maaring ang reason mo ay hindi ka marunong mag-English, which is impossible naman, ano? But another reason is hindi ka confident na magsalita ng English. Yun, malapit-lapit na yun, di ba? Well, sa akin, ang reason ko, gusto kong perfect yung tone na pasado sa panlasa ko, yung, uh, yung voiceover. So, I created a video, halos tatlo ng video na nagawa ko. Ang una, yung swab test. Pangalawa, yung uh, how to enable comment tapos meron pang isa which I forgot the title no? but anyway pinarinig nyo na ano na may uh, English sa uh, aking video hindi po ko yun, voice over yun no? but the question is paano ko ba ginawa yung pag voice over yun well maaring may idea yung iba lang sa inyo but then I created this video para doon sa mga hindi pa marunong mag voiceover or uh, naghahangad na mayroong alternative voiceover medium para malagyan ng voiceover yung kanilang video. So, samahan nyo ako at pag-uusapan natin, ihimay-himayin natin step-by-step -step procedure kung paano gagawin. So, una-una, kinakailangan meron kang website, naka-open ka sa website ng Speech Hello. So, speechhello.com ang website nila. So, once you have the account already and you have the password, madali na lang gawin ang step-by-step -step procedure. So, ang una mong gagawin, ang una natin gagawin ay ikiklik mo yan, training. Alright, yan, that button na uh, training, ikiklik mo yan para mabuksan mo at masundan mo yung training. Yan, ito, ito, ito. Yan. Bubuksan mo yan. Click mo yan para mabuksan mo yung training. Para after watching that training, susundan natin. Ako naman yung magpapakita sa'yo kung paano ko ginawa yung step-by-step -step procedure so that mas madali sa inyo. Okay? Eh, hold on. At uh, samahan nyo ako sa pagpanood ng uh, training video. And at the same time, uh, after that, papakita ko naman sa inyo paano natin gagawin. Okay? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pichero at Maximum. Please watch this until the end because I'm going to give you the best tips to create perfect voiceovers. Right here at the top, you are going to see what Pichero upgrades you own. That's Spicello Standard, Spicello Pro, and Spicello Tube. Now, if you own the standard version, you get access to 30 voices. That means if you select all the languages that we have and all the voices, you will get the number 30. In case you upgrade it to the Pro version, you get access to 60 voices. If you take a look right here in the right, you will see that all the Pro voices have a dash Pro text right next to them. So in this case, the voices Rachel, Eli, Chloe, Summer are pro. First, let me tell you that the voice that we use in our sales video has the language English US and is the voice called Billy and it's a male. All that you have to do is simply write the text right here or paste it. So in this case, I already have my text right here. Most voices have two options. They can be standard voice or the AI voice. Now, usually the AI voice sounds a lot better and I recommend to go with it as long as that voice supports it. Please note, for example, uh, if you select another language, there is a chance that only the standard voice is active. As you can see in this case, for language Italian, we have three voices, but all these voices come in standard version only. All right, so let's move back to English US. Now we need to select the voice that we want to use. So I'm going to go with Billy. If you click on the play button right here from the right of the voice, you can hear a quick preview on how that voice will sound like. Now, if you check the engine to be a standard engine, you will have access to add breathing, emphasize words and adjust speech. 
If you select AI Voice, these options are not available. So those options are only available with standard voices. Now the pause feature that will help you add a pause in the paragraph works both with standard voices and AI Voices as you can see. Alright, so I selected AI Voice, I'm going to go with the normal tone and I have my text right here. Please note that we do not recommend simply pasting your text and generating the voice. What we recommend is to split your text into multiple sentences and after that use the merge feature to merge all the audios together. So to add a more depth to the voice and to add more inflections, make sure to add punctuation marks. Even if in a normal case you wouldn't add a comma for example, try to add it in Spicello because it's going to make a huge difference. For example, I'm going to add it like this. I'm going to add an exclamation mark right here. Now I'm going to change this with a capital letter. I'm going to add another comma right here and another exclamation mark right here. Right here at the bottom you can see the number of characters that you have in your text. If you have under 500 or 1000 characters you can generate everything at once. If not, try to split the text into multiple parts. Please note, if you own the standard version you will have a limit of 5000 characters and if you own the pro version you have a limit of 20,000 characters. Now this is a limit for the text that you can generate in one single go. If you split your text into multiple parts then you will be able to do it. Let's say you have a text that's uh, 10,000 characters, you can split it in three parts of 3,000 characters, generate the voiceovers and then merge all the audios together. Before generating the voiceover, I recommend to hit preview voiceover. Just click here, wait a bit and that's it, the preview has been generated. Now hit play and simply hear how the voice sounds. If you think everything sounds perfect, only then go and hit generate voiceover. The voiceover is now created and if you want you can hit play to hear it or you can download it on your PC and simply use it in your favorite video creator or make your video sound awesome. If you want you can delete the audios that you generated. To do that simply select the items that you want to delete. So let's say these three items and now click on delete selected. Click yes and that's it. The three audio files have now been deleted from Spicello. Now as I said we don't recommend to use a text that is over 500 or 1000 characters. This is because if at some point in the text the sound doesn't look perfect it will be very hard to make modifications. So with this text what I would do for example I would simply split it by sentences. So in this case I will generate this sentence first. Now that it's generated I will click play and hear how it sounds. And from what I hear it sounds perfect. Now I'm going to go with the next sentence, hit generate again. And now with the last two sentences, because they are pretty small sentences, I will hit generate. Perfect. So this is our text. Now I'm going to hear all the sentences. Alright, they sound very good. And now all that you have to do is select these three sentences that you just transformed to speech. Click on merge selected and write a name that you want to save. Hit merge and that's it. And now if you hit play you will see that you created the perfect voiceover because you created all the text sentence by sentence. Alright, so this is the training video for Spicello. I recommend to start using it a lot and don't forget to don't paste huge texts. There is a chance that at some point maybe you will find a sentence that doesn't sound perfect and in that case it will be very hard to edit everything. Simply split your text into multiple sentences or multiple parts generate everything, merge the files together and that's it, you will obtain your voiceover. Alright, I really hope you enjoy the software, thanks a lot. O, bago ka magsimula, kinakailangan may alam kang, may plano ka kung anong gusto mong gamiting language, kung gusto mong English, English British, English Indian, English US, English Wales, at marami pang ibang language, no? Available yan dito sa option. Pag in-scroll mo pa baba, makikita mo kung ano yung pwede mong gamitin. So, on my case, ang ginamit ko, English US, yan ang pinakagusto kong gamitin. At uh, I decided na pinipili ko si Billy Joel. No? Sa ibang version, kung babae kayo, malibawa, pwede mong piliin yung iba sa baba. Yan. Kung babae ka, siyempre piliin mo si Rose, no? Meron ding pambata si Owen. 
So, pwede kang magpili ng normal tone, pwede kang pumili ng serious tone, pwede kang pumili ng friendly tone, and then preview mo yung voiceover na. Si Billy Joel, pag clinic mo yung button na yan, mapipreview mo siya para marinig mo yung tunog ng boses niya. Okay. Hi, I'm Billy. I am a native English speaker. So, iyan ang boses niya. Now, if you are a female, siyempre, piliin mo. So, pang babae, ang availability si Rose. Eh. No? Uh, sa baba, mayroon dyan nakalagay na pro, meaning available lang yan sa pro version. Uh, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yan kung standard version yung uh, license mo or standard version yung kinuha mo account. So, dito ang available lang sa standard version Belly, Rosie, tapos si Henry. No? So, let's presume na babae ka. Ita, si Rosie. Hi. I'm Rosie. I am a native English speaker. Okay. If you are a teen, yan, piliin mo si Owen, no? Hi. I'm Owen. I am a native English speaker. So, on this case, si Henry, pwede mo ring piliin kung lalaki ka. Hi. I'm Henry. I am a native English speaker. So sa case ko, ang pinili ko si Billy Joel, no? Mas uh, gusto ko siya. So let's proceed sa baba. Meron na akong script dito. So i-copy-paste natin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Spiller. So copy natin. Ilagay natin doon sa sa script. Yan. I-paste natin dyan para hindi ka na mag-type. Otherwise, ita-type mo mano-mano. Tingnan nyo, ang importante dito na i... pag iwalay mo siya ng punctuation para hindi dire-diretso. Kasi pag dire-diretso, pangit pakinggan. Kung saan humihinga ba? Yan, pura siya. In this video, may coma, I'm going to show you... Oh, yan, lagyan mo ng coma siya. Lagyan mo ng punctuation. Yan, lagyan na natin ng coma dyan sa my you para... May paghinga ba siya? How to use speech hello, period, or exclamation point. Pwede mong lagyan. Ito kasi mayroon akong grammarly sa computer. Kaya nagko-correct siya kung anong ibang spelling. But you can ignore that one. So, once done. Diba, napili mo na yan si Belly Joel, no? Uh, make sure na ilagay mo sa normal tone kung gusto mo. Tapos, I suggest na gamitin nyo yung AI voice, uh, artificial intelligence, no? Kasi pag sa standard, marami ka pang i-adjust. At uh, based on experience, medyo marami ka pang i-adjust. So, I recommend na gamitin nyo yung AI voice, mas maganda. Okay, let's preview kung ano ba yung kinalabasan. Yan, mabilis naman siya mag-create. Uh, Okay. So, ganun yung recorded voice niya. Kung satisfied ka, pwede mong i-generate yung voice. Uh, let's try friendly tone voice, no? Yeah. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use speechalo. Ayan ang friendly tone voice, no? Sa serious tone, let's try. In this video, I'm going to show you How to use speech alone. Ayaw ko ng serious tone. Masyadong parang malayo sa katotohanan. No? Mas uh, maganda at suitable sa pangangailangan natin yung normal tone or friendly voice, friendly tone. On this case, let's try again yung friendly tone kung pasado ba sa atin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use speech alone. better, no? Parang mas maganda. So, kung okay na sa'yo yan, ayos yan sa'yo, i-generate mo yung voiceover. Click natin. Uh, mabilis lang yan. Okay. Uh, created ka agad. So, saan ba napunta yon? I-scroll down mo sa baba. Yan, nandyan sa sa baba. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use speech alone. Now, if hindi ka satisfied, hindi mo nagustuhan yan, 
at uh, for example mas nagustuhan mo yung normal voice pwede mo siyang i-delete i-click mo dyan sa right side yan delete voiceover no? and delete item para hindi magdoble-doble yung recorded voice mo hindi ka magkamali you can repeat again the process kung sino yung gusto mo okay let's prepare the normal tone let's click again the normal tone prepare voiceover generate voiceover oh mabilis lang naman Okay. Nandito na kaagad siya sa baba. I-play mo. In this pa- video, I'm going to show you how to use Speechalo. Okay, mas maganda pakinggan, di ba? Mas pasado sa atin. So, ang next procedure mo, nagagawin mo, i-download mo siya. Yan, click mo yung download. Yan, downloading na siya. Pupunta siya doon sa file mo kung saan hanapin mo doon yung file uh, uh, folder mo converted na siya into mp3 In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Speechalo. Okay. So, now ang gawin natin next kuha tayo ng panibago, no? Try uli natin yung pangalawang script natin. Please watch this until the end so that you will learn how to make perfect video. Copy-paste natin. Copy. Then, i-paste ulit natin. Okay. Yan na siya. Pag-clinic mo siya, nandiyan na yung dalawa mo. Save mo na lang kung saan yung folder na gusto mong ilagay para madali mo siyang hanapin. No? Okay. Sa case ko, may inedit na akong video na iyan yung mga folder ko. Ayan. Naredy ko na. Pasunod-sunod. Para pag uh, lagay ko doon sa inedit kong video, direkta na. O, oh, diba? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Speechalo. O, oh, yan yung mga recorded ko na nagaling doon. Please watch this until the end so that you will learn how to make perfect voiceover. I have used this oh, in my previous video. hindi mo siya dinerediretso. But then, after doing that, kikita mo, pwede mo naman siyang emerge doon sa Speechilo apps. Pwede mo siyang emerge, but you have to check I-check mo sila lahat kung sino yung mga panghuli mong ginawa na gusto mong gawin. Then, click mo lang yung merge. Yan. Merge selected. Yan. Sasabihin niya dyan na please select the file order. Tapos, lagyan nyo ng merge files. Tapos, file name. No? Hingan ka niya ng file name para mas madali mo siyang hanapin. On this case, let's uh, write a file name test voice over no? merge merge mo yung file then pag click mo ng ok yan pinagsama-sama niya na yung dalawa yan nag merge na siya so pwede mo na siyang i-play or pwede mong i-download in this video I'm going to show you how to use Speechalo please watch this until the end so that you will learn how to make perfect voice over mas maganda yung script mo wag mong dire-direchohin uh, yung pag-create mo uh, sentence per sentence lang saka mo na lang i-merge sila lahat uh, kapag ka, tapos ka na saka mo lang pagsamasamahin Or also, ako ay prefer na iwaiwalay sila. 